guys welcome or welcome back to my channel that's deja peeking in seeing what i'm doing but yeah today's video i'm gonna be doing a skincare routine um my skincare routine is pretty much the same for the day and night except for one step which i will like get into when that step comes um i do have a burn yes i have a burn on my chin i don't i'll talk about that in another video how that happened but yeah we're gonna be doing our skincare like normal and let's get into it so for a cleanser i'm gonna be using the cerave renewing sa cleanser i do have combination oily skin um and i do some from hyperpigmentation so most of my skincare is like um targeted towards my hyperpigmentation as well as like anti-aging those are just my two things that i do mainly I would usually go in with the Dermalogica Microfoliant to exfoliate, but because of this burn on my chin, I'm not going to. I am going to be taking my Foreo and doing just like a gentle exfoliant um, so I don't ruin, you know, whatever healing process my skin is going through already. With cold water, I lather it up in my hands first, and then I apply evenly on my face, just, you know, regular face wash things. Now going in with my Foreo, I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did with my hands, pretty much just circular motions. All this is doing is vibrating against my skin and it has little beads on it like you guys saw earlier. It'll just, you know, get out any extra oils or anything like that that might be in my pores still that my hands couldn't get out on its own. Once I'm done with that, I just let the face wash sit on my face for about a minute. Um, no particular reason. I just feel like just washing and then washing off doesn't do much. At least this will get the cleanser in my pores and, you know, give it time to actually work. Now, to wash it off, of course, I use cold water. Cold water closes my pores, makes it tight, so no other bacteria or anything like that can get inside. Using a paper towel, I dry my face. Now, depending on what steps I do, sometimes I'll just air dry. Um, personally, just to save on the paper towel. <laughs> um, I still let my face air dry a little bit afterwards because it's not fully dry. So to speed up the process, I'll just go in with my hand fan and, you know, speed up the process. For toner, I'm taking the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. Take this on like a regular cotton round. I get mine from Dollar Tree. And I go in with that straight to my face. Like normal. What I will say, if you have sensitive skin or dry skin, I do not recommend this toner. Because when I first started using it, it was super harsh. And yeah, I had a scratch on my face. So you cannot use this on open skin. Hence me avoiding that burn on my chin because if I would have if I would have gotten that on that burn, I probably would have cried. Um, but yeah, I do not recommend this if you have dry skin or super sensitive skin because it is very strong, like strong. I take this down on my neck and also behind my ears because you know why not. <laughs> Next up, I'm going to take the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Androgynous Solution. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I like to target my hyperpigmentation and my discoloration. So this is perfect because the salicylic acid gently exfoliates my skin without, you know, go being too harsh on my skin. I would still use this even if I used my Dermalogica Microfoliant because it is super gentle. It'll still do the job, but it's, you know... It's bad. It, it's good. It's good if you have like sensitive skin and you still want to exfoliate, but are scared to like use harsh products. On top of that, I'm gonna take my ascorbic acid 8% and alpha arbutin. This is a water-free formula, as you guys can see. Um, 
keep that in mind when like when you're adding it to your skincare because I don't know about you guys skin and if you guys can just take oils to your skin whatever it is just keep that in mind um, this just goes on top this is essentially vitamin C basically a vitamin C serum also again to target my discoloration and any hyperpigmentation that I have Next up, I'm going to take the Lancome Advanced Genifique um, Serum. This is an anti-aging serum. You guys might have heard of it. Um, I actually really, really love this serum, but it is very pricey. So you do not have to use this. Um, I'm just really, really into anti-aging, so I'll pay for it. That's just my thing, but, you know, teach its own. As for an eye cream, I use the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2%. Now, I used to do this all over my face. With all those other serums, I don't necessarily need it. Um, so I just use it under my eyes. I don't have really much darkness under my eyes, just kind of puffiness. So I find that this helps a lot with puffiness and like that deep set line that I have, it helps a lot. For moisturizer, I'm going in with the Strivectin Anti-Wrinkle intensive moisturizing concentrate so i is also a really really high-end brand really really good though love it um fun fact this product was made for skincare and women started using it on their stretch marks and it's actually helped their stretch marks so now they actually have a stretch mark cream like this is so good if you guys really want to target like your anti-aging i don't know i don't know my demographic but you know if you know somebody out there that once targets wrinkles things like that i would highly recommend this brand super pricey i'm not gonna lie but it's really good if this was my daytime routine i would go in with the kylie skin broad spectrum spf 40 but i was so surprised by this formula like it's completely clear and i don't really like like silicone-y feeling products but when i say this starts off feeling like silicone but it dries that and it doesn't dry down but it like goes into your skin and it kind of is like a moisturizer so good highly highly recommend this love this um for my lips i'm going in with the Too Faced hangover pillow balm lip treatment if not this i would have gone in with my smith and colt lip balm love this lip balm so much again another thing that you don't have to use don't have to get um you can use carmax you can use blistex you can use vaseline whatever works for you before i end this video i did want to say always patch test especially if you're working with like acids try it behind your ear see if it works if you're really unsure what to try just consult a dermatologist if you can if you can't that's okay um all these things i got on my own tried on my own was recommended to me and I still patch tested it especially like any acids or anything that might make my skin react badly highly recommend it um, if you try anything that I mentioned in this video or have anything to recommend to me comment down below and I'll be sure to check it out thank you guys so so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one bye